So I'm playing with my X mid one person solid in a skinny pitch. Again, I've done this dozens of times. You know, I've taken it out on the Colorado Trail to do a through hike and I know I'll have to use this pitch often, probably. I don't know, but I don't want my tent dictating my schedule, dictating when I stop. And what I mean by that is, you know, you, you're burning daylight and it's starting to get dark and you're tempted to stop at the first nice big site you see because you need a lot of real estate. And I don't want to, I don't want to feel that way. I want to know that I can keep going and I'll find some little hidey hole that I can fit this into. So in its full position, it's five by nine feet of real estate. You need to peg this thing out. And uh, in this, it's 43 inches by nine feet. And I, uh, I think I'll use this a lot, but it has, it does have a lot of options. I mean, right now in this position, there's a lot of flop here. You've got fully functioned inner tent. And what I do is I just take the slack from this side on that inner tent, pull it out and wrap it around my skinny pitch middle peg there, tightens that inner tent right up. So I've got all the space in there. I mean, it's all inner tent basically right now. And I've slept in it many times on the North Country Trail in this configuration. And it's fine, but it does flop in the wind. So the way around that would be to unzip the door and pull that much tighter. And, uh, you know, you could actually pull both sides much tighter with an unzipped door. Uh, I guess that's the loose skinny. Or you could roll the sides up, you know, both sides really and I guess that'd be the skinny dip <laughs> because everybody's going to be able to see right through your tent but this is the solid model but you know the pros probably pitch in this configuration much better because of the way they're built um, but you know they're basically the same tent and they function the same way in this pitch it will work um, the other option is you know depending on how much real estate you have you can leave one side out, I guess that's the half skinny, <laughs> and uh, or you can leave a vestibule out to tighten this flopping if you had the room. I guess that'd be the mini skinny. <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot of options. I'm sure it's gonna work in real world conditions. We'll find out, you know, if I can't make this work, I can't use this tent because I stop and find little hidey holes all the time and it's the, really the reason I sold the tent in the first place but you know one of my subscribers kept telling me about the skinny pitch and I just couldn't seem to figure out you know how it was going to work and I eventually just sold the tent and went back to my hilly bird but now that I played with this a lot again it's you know muscle memory what you're comfortable with I've, I'm going to put this tent up a hundred times and take it down a hundred times before I go on the Colorado Trail. So when I get out there, I'm not going to have to think about it if it's blowing sideways. I can just put it up in any configuration I want quickly. And I'm really not worried about the wind. You know, this is a good solid tent, even with four pegs in it. I've had I've no issues with that. Um, I think I'm going to be really happy with this tent on a through hike, but I've just never used one on a through hike. A lot of people hike these through hikes with uh, Z-Pax duplex, even triplex, uh, X-Mid two-person, and they do fine. But I'm just saying, I think it limits your options. It wouldn't do fine for me. I would love the inner space of a duplex two-person tent um, for the weight difference, but um, it, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Not for me. So check me out when I get out on the trail and we'll see how this thing works in real world conditions. But I use 10 stakes. Of course, the guy outs have to be on this pitch. And then I use two stakes at each door to bring the material as tight as I can, just to make the tent as taut as possible. But I think it'll work. We'll see. Keep smiling.